Let's learn about the traveling salesman problem. This problem is a Hamiltonian circuit, which means we start at one vertex, hit every other vertice only once, and come back to our beginning vertex. That creates a Hamiltonian circuit. We can easily find one of those in this graph, but we want to find the optimal circuit here on our graph. Imagine you're a traveling salesman. You're going from one city to another. You have to reach every single city only once to sell your product, and you need to make it back home. And you don't want to waste any time or money, the cost of traveling, repeating a city you've already been to. Hence the traveling salesman problem. You want to go to each city only once and make it back home and find the optimal way to do that. So there's many ways that we can go about trying to figure this out to find the most optimal way, and we'll learn more about that in other videos. But let's say, let's look at this graph here. It's small enough we can kind of see what is the best path. If we start at home here, home in Seattle, then we have to travel to, well, our next place. We have so many different flights, flights from home to Chicago or LA, Dallas, Atlanta, but we want to find the least cost. And we can see that here from home to LA, it's a $70 flight, so we kind of can choose this. So our order here, if I want to write it out, let's go from home to LA. Okay, so we're going from home to LA, and that cost here was $70. So we went from home to LA, and we can even highlight that path. Then from LA, there's many different paths that we can take, but the cheapest one so far just looks like it's going to Chicago. So from LA, we're going to go to Chicago, and that cost was $100, $100 flight. Now, flight's a little more expensive than that today, but for this graph it works. Once we're in Chicago, we cannot go back to LA, we've already been there, and we cannot go back home because well, we haven't visited every single city. So our options here are going to Dallas or Atlanta, and it looks like the Atlanta flight's the cheapest. So we can go here to Atlanta, it was $75. So we'll go from Chicago to Atlanta, and that's $75. Once we're in Atlanta, we need to go, well, we've one city left, so it's Dallas. And we're kind of lucking out here, and it's by design. That is pretty cheap, $85 to get to Dallas. Then from Dallas, we have to make it back home. There's only one flight there. We cannot repeat a city. So go from Dallas back home, or in this case, Seattle. We'll call it home here. And that cost was $120. So the circuit, we have all the paths there, adding it up. Now we can add this whole thing up right here. 0, 0, 5, 5, 0, carry the 1. 7, 7 is 14, plus 1 is a 15, plus 2 is a 17, plus an 8 is a 5, 25, carry the 2, right here with 100, and 100, 2, 300, 400, 450. And so the overall cost to travel to all of these cities is $450. And we can find other Hamiltonian circuits to do that. And if we can find a cheaper price, that's a better circuit. Unfortunately, we did find <laughs> the best way to go about to find this traveling salesman problem, a best Hamiltonian circuit here. Um, there are techniques to, to find that or have a better chance at it. They don't, they're not always perfect. Um, and that's what's kind of hard. We're trying to find, or we're going to learn new techniques on that can help us identify the better circuit here, but it's not going to be perfect. Sometimes looking at a graph, you can kind of see and process through your brain what it is. But if you're using a computer, you would have to give it a set of rules to follow to hopefully get the best, best circuit here. Anyway, I hope you learned something here on the traveling salesman problem. And thanks for watching.